Mexico, officially the Municipality of Mexico, is a first-class municipality in the province of Pampanga, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 154,624 people. It was also formerly known as Nuevo México during the Spanish period. Barangays Mexico is administratively subdivided into 43 barangays. History According to folk etymology, the original pre-Hispanic name of the village was purportedly Masasu or Makasiku, which the Spaniards spelled as Mexica. It is claimed that this was a reference to an abundance of chico trees. However chico trees are not endemic to the Philippines and were introduced by the Spaniards. Another claim is that it is derived from Siku, elbow, and was a reference to the elbow-shaped bends of the nearby Abakan and Pampanga rivers. But there are no records of the town ever being called Masasu. Instead, the origin of the latter name is believed to be simply a common mispronunciation by the locals. According to the Augustinian records in Libros de Gobierno Ecclesiastico, the town was founded as a river trading port at around 1581 and was originally named Novo Mexica, the old Spanish form of Nuevo Mexica. New Mexico. After Mexico City, the Spanish colonists made Mexica the capital of the newly formed province of Pampanga. Gaspar de San Agustin wrote that being the capital, Mexico was one of the most beautiful and charming centers in the province. A lavish church made of stone and tiles, the parish of Santa Monica, was built in 1581 with Masongsang and Matalid serving as its visitas. Mexico also formerly included the city of San Fernando, including parts of Angeles City, formerly the Barrio San Angelo. In 1660, Don Francisco Maniago, a native leader from Mexico, led the Pampanga Revolt against the Spanish. It was caused by the imposition of forced labor, holo, and rice tributes, bandala, by the Spanish colonial government. Maniago also inspired similar revolts in neighboring cities. These were suppressed in 1661 by Governor General Sabiniano Manrique de Lara. The Spanish colonial authorities stripped Mexica of its political importance after the Pampanga Revolt by moving the provincial capital further downstream to Bacalar. But it retained its strategic economic importance, especially among the Lusing Chinese and their mestizo descendants. Mexica was still a regular drop off point of forest products from the upper reaches of the Abacan River. It was also a favored destination by merchants from as far north as Pangasinan. By the 18th century, the Chinese traders and their mestizo de Sangli descendants living in Mexica, Guagua and Malabon had formed and maintained business and social alliances with each other. Coscos and Sampans maintained the flow of goods along the malabon guagua Mexica chain. Like the Chinese section of Manila, the commercial center of Mexica became known as the Parian. In 1898, General Maximino Heisen rallied Capampangans to fight the Spaniards under Emilio Aguinaldo's revolutionary banner and ordered the execution of the parish priests of Mexica and San Fernando. When the Americans replaced the Spaniards as the new colonists, General Maximino Heisen soon rose up to become supreme commander of all the Philippine forces in Pampanga. He was captured by the Americans in 1901 and exiled to Guam after refusing to pledge his allegiance to the United States. He died in exile on September 1, 1901. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Mexico, Pampanga, was 154,624 people, with a density of 1,300 inhabitants per square kilometer or 3,400 inhabitants per square mile. Religion Parish churches and Spanish-era chapels Santa Monica Parish Church and Belfry was built by Fr. José de la Cruz in 1665, but was destroyed during an earthquake in 1880. What remains is just the belfry tower of the former Augustinian-run church. Near the 17th-century bell tower of Mexico, one can also find the St. Benedict's Institution de Mexico, an Augustinian convent that was constructed in time with the Sta. Monica Parish Church in 1665. Although Augustinian records such as the Estado of 1612 indicates that Mexico has one convent and two priests during that time. Good Shepherd Parish Church, Pandacaki Resettlement 
Our Lord's Annunciation Parish Church, San Vicente San Jose Parish Church, San Jose Molino San Miguel de Archangel Parish Church, ANAO Santo Domingo de Guzman Parish Church San Jose Matalid Chapel is believed to be the oldest chapel in Pampanga. Sabanilla Chapel. The Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Chapel, commonly referred to as the Sabanilla Chapel, Basitas Ning Sabanilla, is a stone chapel located between the fork roads of the barangay leading to rice fields. Like the San Jose Matalid Chapel, no available documents tell of the exact date and history of the chapel. Notable features of the structure are the saint's niche flanked by decorative columns and carved stone blinds located on rectangular windows of the facade. Religious and cultural traditions Good Friday writes, the faithful remember the passion and death of Jesus by the pondering on the seven last words of Christ and the Tongle, a reenactment of how Jesus' body was taken down from the cross. After the Prusis young Pasu at Paminga cut. Procession of the scenes and burial of Christ, the traditional burl literally means wake, where the Santo Entierro seems to be in a wake follows. In here, people visit and pray before the image, after which, in the midnight of Good Friday, there is a procession of the Virgin de Soldad, Our Lady of Solitude. This is a silent procession, meditating and joining with the Virgin's sorrow and grief. Usually, single men and women join the procession believing that they will be blessed in their opted state of single blessedness in life. Easter Sunday Celebration The faithful celebrate Easter. During the day, the Filipino tradition of Salubong Encuentro is done, after which the Pakbung Judas or the burning of Judas' effigy follows. April 24, this is regarded as the Mexico Day, following the date of the establishment of the town and parish in April 24, 1581, also the Feast of the Conversion of St. Augustine. During the day, the parish organizes the Augustinian Festival as a tribute to the Augustinian forefathers of the town. A procession of different Augustinian saints and blesseds is held. Among the images joining the procession are Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, Saint Rita of Cascia, Saint Thomas of Villanova, Saint John of Sahagan, San William the Hermit, Saint Magdalene of Nagasaki, Saint Ezekiel Moreno and Our Lady of Consolation and Cord. May 4, Mexico's town fiesta is celebrated in honor of its patron saint, Saint Monica, mother of Saint Augustine. September 4, the people of Mexico celebrate the Feast of Virgen de la Consolación y Correa, Our Lady of Consolation and Cord, patroness of the Augustinian Order, during which they receive blessed cinctures imitating the gesture of the Virgin Mary giving her own cincture to Saint Monica during her grief and sorrow at her son's misgivings. September 10, the Sanaculas Festival is celebrated in honor of Saint Nicolas de Tolentino. Bread, cookies, a local delicacy in the town with arrowroot as their main ingredient, are eaten. The tradition is inspired by the story of San Nicholas when he was ill for some time and his advancement to old age started to manifest. He was about to die when his superiors asked him to eat a little meat, for he was a vegetarian, to be nourished, after all he is needed by his community and the souls in purgatory, which he had been praying for. Although he wanted to follow the advice of his superiors he also acknowledged the power and value of fasting towards God's merciful love. He then sought the help of the Virgin Mary through a prayer. Moved by his prayers, she appeared with the baby Jesus in her arms. She handed Nicholas a small piece of bread and asked him to dip it in the water contained in a chalice being held by the baby Jesus. Following her advice, he immediately recovered from his illness, and had more strength than he had ever had before. From then on, Nicholas would bless little pieces of bread, which he would hand out among the people for them to be healed. December 15-24, Christmas is welcomed by the annual Lubenis Pascu. During this celebration, they parade colorful lanterns and decorated carrozas. According to Tantinko, Lubenis came from the word Novena, which means nine days, referring to the nine-day Simbang Gabi. But while the rest of the country was content with attending dawn masses for nine consecutive days, Kapampangans went a step farther by holding a procession on the eve of every Simbang Gabi with a procession after dinner, which means they slept late, and then woke up before dawn for the Simbang Gabi, or Simbang Bengi in Kapampangan. 
December 9, Mount Vernon Independent Baptist Church Anniversary. The church was established at 1997 pastored by Rev. Marvin Edrasolam. Education It has various educational institutions including Our Lady of Guadalupe School and Play Matters Therapy Center in Lagoon School of St. Brother Benilde, a de La Salle supervised private school References Books Gaspar de San Agustin, Conquistas de las Islas Filipinas 1565-1615, translated by Luis Antonio Mineiro, first bilingual ed. Spanish and English, published by Pedro Galend, OSA, Intramuros, Manila, 1998. Michael Raymond Tayag Manoloto Pangalinan, Siwala Ding Mingabie. Gaspar de San Agustin, Conquistas de las Islas Filipinas, 1565 1615, first bilingual edition, Intramuros, 1998. Luciano P. R., Santiago, Laying the Foundations, Copamangan Pioneers in the Philippine Church, 1592 2001, Angeles City, 2002. Mariano A. Henson, Pampanga and its Towns, AD 1300-1965, Angeles, 1965. John Allen Larkin, The Pampangans, Colonial Society in a Philippine Province, Berkeley, 1972. The Luther Parker Collection, Datas Históricas de Este Municipio de México, Provincia de la Pampanga, Isla Filipinas, translated from Spanish by Antonio Prima. The Historical Data Papers, Mexico, Bureau of Public Schools, 1953. Teresita Jimenez Maceda, MGA Tinig Mula Sa Ibaba, Casaysayan ng Partido Comunista ng Pilipinas at Partido Socialista ng Pilipinas Sa Awit, 1930-1955, QC, 1996. Yoshikawa Eiji, Teikoki, The History of the Life of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, Tokyo, 1967. Ravi Tantinko, Lubenas is Pampanga's Precious Cultural Gem. Indun Kapampangan, December 13, 2006. External links History of Mexico, Pampanga Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Partial List of La Salle Schools and Educational Institutions Throughout the Archipelago